everybody i got myself a apple macbook pro from like 2014 and somebody spilled some soda on it um, they didn't think it was worth repairing so i took out their m.2 out of it which i guess is not an m.2 i don't know just like all apple products they don't make it easy on They don't make it uh, user friendly and you have to buy like a device that's three times the price just to get the stuff off of here. I don't know if it's locked or not. Um, no soda got onto this. But I bought this part off of Amazon. Link will be in the description below. And it's not the normal $13 one I already did a video on that does the M.2s. I don't even know what this is. It says it's a 12 plus 16 pin. Looks like that. I think it's coming in. It's only 256 gigs, so it's not really too much. But she just wants her files off of there. So I bought this device right here. It says it does for Mac SSD. I know. It's still an M.2. It's just a special one. Could just be because it's an older M.2. Don't really know. 12 plus 16 pin. There we go. And then it does the new ones, I guess. So this must just be an older M.2. It says it's a Samsung. This is what we're going to be doing the video on. This is around 60 bucks at the time of buying this in the video. Open it up. This is how it came from Amazon. I'm really just going to get my files off of it and most likely return it. So I want to keep the box all nice. I'm not really going to use it for anything else. I guess it's kind of nice Amazon lets you do that. Or they don't want you to do it, and I do it anyways. <sighs> little thing we'll get to that last package nicely comes with a USB 3.1 it looks like to a USB C it's funny that it doesn't go to a USB C to USB C it don't go to a USB the lightning port there's the adapter to make it from I guess this is defaulted to the 12 plus 16. This updates it to the new model. And then you have a screw in there and a screwdriver. We're gonna be opening that and just using the screwdriver. I don't seems like the same setup. I don't know why it has to be 60 bucks. Trying to open it nicely so I can do a return. Yeah, that was nice. Feels really nice. Those heavy duty feel like it could go in your pocket with no problems. I kind of like this one better. I don't know if it's quite worth the price. It says M.2 Mac SSD. Looks like there's two screws on the bottom. And that's nice. They weren't tight, so that's nice. Just ready for you to tear it apart. You don't have to worry about Loctite being on them or anything. Oh, it just falls apart. Well, that's nice. So, the back has a nice tra heat transfer tape on it. It already has a screw in the back, so they must just give you an extra screw. I really like this enclosure. I kind of want to upgrade mine. If you guys watch my videos, uh, I do have an M.2 enclosure. I have two of them, and I really like them. But they ain't built like this one. I don't think I got it in there far enough. Did I turn it upside down? No, I had it in there, right? M.2 goes in like this and then pushes down. Oh, there we go. Just had to push it in there a little bit more. Now that one screw. We're going to screw it in so there's no problems. Sorry if you guys can't see it. I wish there was like something on the bottom I could put in there. Maybe foam or something. Just get all the heat away from the board. Especially when that's going to be... Oh, that is the bottom. That's the top side. So the heat will rise up. Looks like they must have fitted this perfect. No, that doesn't even come close to touching it. Looks like that slides in first. 
goes down. I'm just going to say how nice this thing is. Very well built. Okay. We're going to try it with a USB-C to there. See if we can pull the files off. Okay, so we're going to plug this into my mess of a computer. I'm actually making YouTube videos as we speak. Just going to plug that into the side if you can see it. Let's see if it lights up or anything. Oh, little indicator light at the end. Let's see if we can pull these files off this computer. Open my file explorer. Hopefully I can get these files because I'm sure Apple has some type of lock on it somewhere. Um, local disk, one terabyte. It's not popping up, but we can. Disk management. Go see if it's in there somewhere. Or it could be that I'm not on the right port on my computer. Connecting to virtual desk disk services. Come on, thing. I'll put that on a different screen for now. Google. It's not on here yet. I got all kinds of other crap, but not that. Oh, here we go. It loaded. Let's see if it's on here somewhere. Why won't you go by yourself? There it is. Look at that. It's right there. Why can't we mount this? Convert to a disk. Convert. Oh, okay now. Just boot it. Okay, so it doesn't want to do all that. So at least it shows up. I'm just going to have to do some work. Yeah, it wants me to delete the volume. Um, I'm just going to have to do some work with it to get it converted over. And somebody's probably watching it right now being like, just click that one button. Weird that it won't pop up right here. We'll get it figured out. Thanks for watching.